Well, that's it for now. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I just uh, did some framework uh, to button up the fuselage, the front of the fuselage. It's just uh, to get framework to support the sheeting that I'll eventually do. So you see the process that I went through is all by pretty much eyeball, did some measuring, some lengths here and there. But really what it comes down to is just taking a little bit off at a time, a little bit off at a time, and then have a plan for how you're gonna do it. As you saw, as, as I was trimming some pieces, I was using a piece of scrap uh, balsa that I was that I was using to like sort of curve to shape and see how it butted up against the cowl. And that's really what I'm after is just trying to get it butted up. And then once I do, I'll be able to put a piece, once I remove the cowl, I'll put a piece of 1 64th inch ply underneath that CA it to reinforce that lip and make sure that it's uh, nice and rigid. So from here, I am going to take a little break, but uh, coming back to it, keep going on the tri-pacer. Well, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> so I go upstairs and my family is like, oh, well, we don't need anything. So I had more time and came down to the shop and I thought I hit record on the GoPro and didn't, didn't record. So we all make mistakes. And it's really unfortunate because I got a lot more work done. Let me turn the camera. So yeah, I skinned it all. So I will cover this area here with uh, Oratex, but this I will leave open because it will vent from up front uh, right down through there. Nice opening for getting cool air. Uh, or warm air out, but yeah, uh, a couple of areas that need to be touched up, um, but for the most part, we're good. I definitely need to uh, uh, do some blending here, but not until I take the cowl back off and do the ply underneath the 164th ply, like I said before. Um, yeah, I want to reinforce that before I start wailing away on it with the sanding block. And yeah, this, this bend was a little bit tricky. It did crack, but what I found is that you can dab a little bit of CA, uh, medium CA in a crack, and then you want to blend it anyway. So I just take some sandpaper and the balsa dust just fills in. And it works remarkably well and it reinforces the crack. So that's what I did there. Uh, also did that down there around that radius a little bit. Um, yeah. So that's probably the hardest part about this whole restoration right here. So, you know, like I said, a little bit more blending to do. But for the most part, we're set. The bulk of the work is done. And uh, we've got a nice blending here into our instrument panel area. Yeah, it's looking great. Looking great. Again, I'm sorry, I screwed up and I will try to do better next time. Anyway, I hope you guys continue to work on your stuff and you I hope you properly document your flying works of art. <laughs>